Hey everybody, Hunter Pence here, and this is uh, Algebra Lessons on Adding and Subtracting Polynomials. All right, so the following are polynomials, you guys, okay, and they're separated by semicolons. So here's one, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Here's another one, 2x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 1. Here's another one, 7a minus uh, 8. Here's another one, 1 half ab squared and 9. That's a polynomial also. All right, now the ones that just have one term, with no plus signs in between them are called monomials. So this is a monomial, this is a monomial. The one that's separated by just a <clears throat> one plus or minus, excuse me, and there's two terms with it, then it's called a binomial. Three terms, what do you think that's called? Yeah, you got it. That one over there is a, a trinomial. Now there's no name for this one right here except to be, being a polynomial. All of these are polynomials right here. All right, so the degree of a polynomial is the highest power that you have with the variables. Okay, so look at that first one up there. The degree of that one is 2, because that's the highest power. Look at the middle one. The degree of that one is 4. Look at 7a minus b. If there's no exponent with that a, it's assumed to be 1, so the degree is 1. Okay, when there's a couple of exponents there, like on the, that, that one monomial, you add them together. So add 1 plus 2, and the degree would be 3. Okay, this one doesn't have any variables, so the degree of that guy would be 0, because there is no variable. All right, and then the leading coefficient is the number that's in front of the monomial that gives the degree. Okay, so the leading coefficient over there is 1. If there's no number there, it's understood to be a 1. The leading coefficient of this guy is 2. Okay, the leading coefficient of this guy is 7. And then the leading coefficient of the other one is a half. And then 9 is called a constant because it doesn't have any variables with it. Okay, so there's no degree. So it's just called a constant then. All right, so write uh, this polynomial. It's called descending order, which means the exponents decrease from left to right. And then after you write it in descending order, then identify its degree and the leading coefficient. Okay, so look at all those. And the biggest power I see is this 5b to the fourth. Actually, it's negative 5b to the fourth. And then there's no number, there's no sign in front, so it's considered to be a plus. So plus 3b squared, plus, uh, sorry, plus 3b cubed. Here's plus b squared minus 2b plus 1. Okay, so there it is in descending order, and the degree right there is 4, and the leading coefficient is at negative 5 right there. Okay, so it, um, it's not all that easy, but it's pretty close. This lesson is pretty easy. Find the sum or difference. Okay, here we go. We're adding a couple of polynomials together. All right, when there's just a plus sign in between them, you can just drop those parentheses right there. And then, like uh, monomials, you guys have the same powers. So I color-coded them. You see how these guys have an x squared, okay? You see how the blueies have an x cubed right there? All right, and there's nothing that can pair, match up with this x right here, and there's nothing that can match up with the constant, so those are in different colors right there. All right, uh, so you can combine like terms. So you have negative 2x squared plus 3x squared. You have a positive 1x squared, okay? There's my 3x. Um, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, and then uh, I thought I missed something there and then there's my minus 12 right there okay so there it is all simplified right there and it's not asking but the degree of this guy is is uh, actually the degree started with it being 3 right there uh, okay uh, okay this one right here this one when there's a minus in front of it that minus says it's minus everything in the parentheses so what I like to do is distribute the negative through go through and change all the signs this is going to become a negative 3y squared this will become a plus 4y. This will become a minus 1. Okay, so what I did is I pushed that negative through the parentheses. All right, now I can combine like terms. 2y squared minus 3y squared is a negative 1y squared. All right, and then um, uh, there's nothing that can match up with that 4y's, but that comes next. And then minus 8 minus 1 gets me a minus 9. Okay, so that's the answer on all of that stuff right there. All right, so, oops, that's for my classes right there. Okay, well, you guys can see that if you're in my class. All right, take care, everybody.